Yeah. I can last for about five minutes before I start just zoning out and skipping areas yeah. and then realising, oh damn, I've skipped that area, I better read it again. I'll just lose track of where I am half the time. Especially with uh, online articles, I find I'll just read like the abstract, the introduction, conclusion results and then try and get a brief outlook. I won't actually read the whole thing because some of them are just really long and you can't concentrate for that long. So you don't soak it all in. But if you get, yeah, if you get the outline of it, you're fine. You do a lot better. If you don't like doing them, you probably shouldn't be at university. <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Like, um, uh, I don't know. Obviously, depending on what what you're studying and everything like that. But like, I read heaps of journal journal articles even when I'm not at uni, just because. I like psychology and so I'm going to be reading about it um, and yeah textbooks like obviously you got you got some textbooks that are better than others but like some textbooks are just awesome like you just like can't put them down in, in a lot of ways you know yeah like I have hit the odd dry one that I find a bit difficult but yeah m uh, most of them are actually really well written you know um, and what techniques uh, I enjoy it I know not everyone does um, but yeah I know I find it a lot of fun yeah, I like reading in general, so uh, if, you, if I don't know what to write about, so I'm reading anything on a topic, so, and then I follow sort of breadcrumbs, I choose a number, like keywords, I know it's going to be in my assignment, so I am start researching these keywords and then further and further, so till I get till the general articles I actually need. So, but you have to look through more than you're actually using, so you, you not read but look through at least so i won't type in the actual question i'll just type in measuring data and then the category um, and when it comes to reading just yeah highlight i wouldn't read through the whole the whole things because it is a lot of reading and you won't actually soak in anything so it's pretty pointless but technique wise i don't really use <laughs> any as such you more you learn things in your courses on how to um, yeah, how to search things correctly, how to get the results that you need. Take your time. Um, like, when you're skim reading over something with really, really dense information, you, you, well, you can't. You can't skim read it. You, you, you might give it a skim read before you go to your lecture, and then that'll help solidify it and everything like that. But if you actually want to get anything out of it, it's kind of like read a paragraph, think about the paragraph, reword it into your own words and everything like that, and actually make sense of it and then move on. Like, yeah, you, you've got to take your time with it or else it's not going to consolidate. I suppose just, uh, I know the more you read, the more you start to understand. Um, one thing I find helpful is uh, if there's sort of ideas in the journal articles you don't quite get, uh, always use the, resource, the, the references in the actual journal articles and go source the other, the, the reference material they've used. Um, but yeah, reading in groups uh, always makes things easier. Um, yeah, if you're sort of struggling to, to find information by yourself, uh, working in a group uh, sort of helps to I don't know, find your way through it, I suppose. Yeah, because it's a very, some journal articles are very specific, so look around at the uh, keywords first, so it will help you to get a head around the topic and you will get the articles it's actually you really need instead of reading heaps of uh, stuff you don't actually need so yeah use the keywords <laughs> if you can sometimes just not understand it like you can read through it and it may it, it's apparently relevant to your course but it's just really difficult to understand and that can make it a bit frustrating as well especially if you've been searching for ages to find that so that source yeah the, like the, yeah as Jake said the terminology can be a bit more advanced and you're not used to it so you're kind of reading you're like oh what does this mean and then it could be really relevant to what you need but because you don't understand the terminology you kind of just head away from it and you're like oh I guess that's not really relevant when really it was actually perfect perfect for what you're studying but yeah hmm uh, d depending on what it is like um uh like I, I, I don't know. Like if you if you're doing like a hard science or something like that, like chemistry or something like that, a lot of it's just like so much te technical jargon and everything like that. And it's like like I'd done chem before and stuff, so I was pr pretty struggleville. Um, <laughs> you know, had to had to be looking up a lot of words and stuff and uh, and, and whatnot. But um, uh, and then you know you've got your own 
set of problems with like something like philosophy or something like that, which is just like so analogous and metaphorical and everything like that, and it's just really, really dense and wordy. Um, I don't know. It, it, it really depends on the subject. Like every subject has its own string of difficulties, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just the different languages from the different disciplines. Like some are very. Uh, I suppose hard to read some of them are very like I don't know I, I don't mind reading difficult material because uh, I study philosophy and I don't mind sort of decoding what people have to say but when there's lots of facts and figures and statistics and those sorts of things I find my brain sort of struggling to keep up with everything that's going on so but yeah I'm all right with words I don't know maybe it's 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 quite time consuming anyway so maybe time is the issue but, yeah, I would say, yeah, I don't think it's too hard. Hi.